I was working, doing maintenance, and this guy showed me a little bit of welding, and I loved it. Fire, electricity, steel, you know? And uh, I pretty much reached the pay cap of that company. Went to Modern Welding School, graduated with high honors. In the meantime, started realizing I could make stuff on my own with my weird imagination. And uh, so I started buying equipment, buying more equipment, buying more equipment. And uh, I just started upgrading equipment and then started taking classes at uh, blacksmithing schools, the Center for Metal Arts down in Florida, New York and the New England School of Metalwork in Auburn, Maine. There was a couple of blacksmithing schools. That's where I learned how to start doing blacksmithing and whatnot. And then from there, I just started making a bunch of stuff, making things on the side here and there. Started getting into uh, scrap metal monsters. Did uh, scrap metal monsters, battle axes, maces, knives, a bunch of different stuff like that. Then I started doing random sculptures, different sizes, different kinds. Uh, mostly, I don't do the abstract art because I don't understand it. And uh, so I mostly do stuff, sculptures that look evil, monsters, things like that. I went on the internet one time, looked up uh, metal art, and everything I saw was abstract art, which I don't get, or little trinkets for little old ladies and whatnot. A lot of the metal art that I seen on the internet was just boring. And I'm like, I could do stuff way cooler than this. Thusly, Aggressive Metal Works. Just been making more and more stuff. People get ideas, they bring them to me, I make them. Memorial pieces. People that have died, I'll make stuff for them out of different things they liked. Incorporate their name or different things they liked into something. And made a couple of memorial pieces that I'm quite proud of. And, uh, chain mail jewelry, I started doing this just so I had kind of a filler between my evil sculptures and my you know, axes, maces, and all sorts of stuff like that. It's something that somebody could throw, you know, it's not a whole lot of money down and, you know, get something cool, walk away with something cool. So a friend of mine up in Maine, he got me into doing the chain mail jewelry and whatnot, and it's been doing pretty good so far. Everybody's been liking it. <clears throat> I made a handbag for my girlfriend, which I estimated it to be 2,975 rings altogether in it. Took me about 40 hours to do. It took forever. Thing came out real nice. And if anybody ever messes with her, she could swing it around and knock them right out clean, so. It's a pretty cool piece.